Now that you've seen the basics of Google Classroom, this tutorial is designed to show you some of the random features that it has. Um, we will talk about the calendar, how to archive classes and what that means, settings and notifications, how Google Classroom syncs with Google Calendar, and about the help section. So once you're logged into Google Classroom and you're at your um, collection of classes, if you click the three lines in the top left corner, there are several features available to you here. Um, first of all, you can see the calendar. If you click on calendar, it's going to pull up a list of all of the assignments that you have that are due. If you um, click, it's automatically set for all classes, but if you click the down arrow, you can choose the class that you would like to um, look at specifically. This is really helpful for the students to keep track of what they have due in which classes. Um, in this list, you will see a list of the um, classes that you are teaching as well as the classes in which you are enrolled. Under each section you see something called assignments. So if I click on assignments for the classes that I'm teaching, it will pull up all of the assignments that I have given to the students. It will tell me who's done and who, how many are done and how many are not done and give me other options to interact with the assignments this way. This is sometimes great for just a quick and easy look at the assignments um, to kind of help you keep track of it in a, in a neat manner. Um, again, if you go under Enrolled and click in the assignments there, it will give you a list of all the assignments that are due in any of the classes that you are enrolled in. This, again, is especially helpful for students as they keep track of the assignments that they have due. Under this, you will also see something called Archived Classes. This is where you will find any classes that you have chosen to archive over time. So it's like you're not teaching them anymore, so you just put them away, but they're always there for you. Um, it, in order to archive a class, you just click um, this screen to get to your list of classes and then click the three little dots in the top left cor top right corner. Um, this will allow you to archive and also to rename the class if you would like. The last thing under this menu is settings. And if you click under settings, there aren't too many options here, but one important thing to note is the notifications. If send email notifications is checked and you use Google Classroom a lot, your email will blow up with messages. Um, it didn't take me long to figure out that I needed to uncheck this box because of the, the number of messages that I was getting each day. Um, so I'm going to go back to the classes and then into our test class. A couple things that I wanted to show you in here. Um, if you go under the About section of your class, you can add a few, um, like a title and a description, and you can hold, uh, insert the room number, etc. Um, you can also open the calendar in Google Calendar. So this is really helpful if you use Google Calendar um, because you can see your assignments as compared to all the other things that you have going on in your life. The last thing that I wanted to show you about is anytime that you are in Google Classroom, in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a question mark. If you click that question mark, it's going to um, show you a tab for what's new, so you can see all the updates to Google Classroom. You can um, send feedback, you can ask a question, or you can get help. If you click on the Get Help uh, option, it will bring you to the Google Classroom help where you can browse through a variety of different um, topics that may suit your troubleshooting needs. You can also search Google Classroom here at the top. Um, there's also a forum where people ask questions and where you can ask questions. I've gotten a lot of things answered by utilizing this tool. So again, that's the gist of Google Classroom and some of its random features. Um, it really is a very intuitive um, system and it's very, very helpful to keep things organized for both you and your students.